And we are live. Welcome for this live stream on how to make money with NFTs for developer. And so in this live stream, it's going to be Joseph Rochisano, who is going to do the presentation. So Joseph is our new full-time instructor at Eat the Blogs. He started working with us uh, one month ago, and uh, he also just finished uh, he's, a uh, he's a first course uh, with, us, uh, with us on so NFT, I'm so I'm super excited to uh, hand over, hand over uh, to, uh, to, to Joseph. Um, and and uh, yeah, and, uh, so, yeah. so please, please everybody, everybody give, a give a warm welcome to Joseph. To Joseph. All right. All right. Oh, and uh, you're on the screen there, Julian. Do you want to stay there or do you want me to like move your way or something? You can remove me. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, everything's all good. You can see me clearly, Julian. We're, we'll keep going forward. Yes. Uh, th there is an echo apparently. Can you? Uh, I'm going to unplug my mic and see if it's better with the other one. Figure it out. Figure it out. Hello, hello. Is that yeah. better? Uh, is okay, that so Oscar saying? Uh, there now there is no sound. Um, uh, no audio. Oh, uh, you know what I think it is. Hmm. No, but no, but now there should be audio. Is there audio now? Because now I can see that the little audio thing is moving. Before it wasn't. So is this? Okay, is... so let, 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 let's do it that way. What's what way? We just start or no, they, they, they say in the chat switch back to how it was before. It's okay. fixed apparently. Yeah. Now it's fixed? Yeah, so you can you can go now. Okay. All right. I'll go and then if anyone starts complaining, just let me know and we can stop and change and whatever. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hello everyone, and thank you for your patience. Uh, I know that was a bit of a rocky start, but welcome to Making Money with NFTs. This is a developer's guide, particularly this is my guide. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. This is my experiences in the industry. I've been doing freelancing for a little while now, and so I've been particularly playing with NFTs and watching them for a long time. So I think you might find this really interesting. I'm excited to share what we're gonna be doing in this course today. So, these are the things we're going to be covering in the course today. First, we're going to start off, we're going to talk about the NFT market. I know it's a really exciting market. There's a lot of money moving through this market. And so usually when I'm talking with this market with people, th this common question comes up and I think I got it like three times yesterday and probably Julian's had it before as well. It's, you know, how can I make money in the industry? There's tons of developers out there and none of them really know uh, exactly where to start. So that's something that we're gonna talk about today, where you can get started and some of those ways in which people are actually making money in the industry. And so a common way for which we've seen people make money in this industry is with creating NFT collections. So we're gonna to touch on that. We're gonna see it's worth your time. We're gonna talk about the successes and the failures in the industry and all the interesting things which come along with that. We're gonna talk uh, about another interesting way at which people make money in this industry. I think it's not talked about enough and that's actually building products around NFTs. There's so many things happening in the NFT space, but you know, there's all this infrastructure around NFTs, which is actually holding it all up as well. And I think this is a less hyped, really interesting area where um, innovation can be made. And finally, my personal favorite is freelancing. This is actually one of the things which changed my career. And so I'm gonna tell you a little story about that and ways that you can make money with freelancing as well. Then, of course, at the end, we're going to have a special announcement and the special announcement is already sort of given away by Julian. But, you know, we're, we're launching this new course 
And uh, we have some things that we want to tell you about that as well. So I'm really excited to get to that part. So let's jump in. Let's get started with the content and let's go. So a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Joseph, uh, Joseph Rocasano. I'm a full stack blockchain developer. My favorite color is blue. You probably never see me in a video not wearing blue. And uh, I have a history in technology. I really love technology. I've been in it my whole life. You know, I started off in biomedical engineering where I was super passionate about prosthetics. And then I went into data science where I had my own startup in machine learning and AI. I was working for one of Australia's biggest banks, helping them save, solve, uh, save problems and um, increase their efficiencies. And then somewhere along the lines, I stumbled across blockchain, right? And that's when things started to get really great. I, I had another job, but I was super passionate about blockchain. So I was just dipping my toes in, learning a few things. And um, yeah, then I ended up doing some freelance work. And then I did a bit more freelance work, a bit more freelance work. And then that became my full-time job. You know, I've, I've built cryptocurrencies. I've built ITOs, which is, you know, initial coin offerings. I've built tons of NFTs. And uh, I've even built, and this is of course a self-claimed title, but I built the cheapest bridge between Ethereum and Polygon, you know, in a hackathon. If you want to know how I did that, feel free to message me later. I'm quite chatty. Um, many people will probably disagree, but I think I made the cheapest bridge between Ethereum and Polygon, and I'm really proud of that. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's jump in to the NFT market. Now the NFT market, is going really hot. And instead of me telling you that, you can hear it from Devin Finzer himself. If you don't know who Devin Finzer is, Devin Finzer is the man who is the co-founder and CEO of OpenSea. And what he says is that in 2020, OpenSea did about 21 million in total transaction volume. That alone is a huge number. However, now in 2021, what he's saying is in the last two days, we did 95 million dollars in volume that great uh, that growth curve for nfts is insane and he's not wrong we're seeing exponential growth in the value and the volume of nfts in 2021 and i don't think it's going to stop here i think it's going to keep going uh, the value is going to keep increasing and one really great example of how this value is keep, kept increasing is to look at things like crypto punks right really typical case CryptoPunks is probably one of the most famous NFT collections. Uh, they, they were created in like 2017. But at the start of this year, you could have picked up a CryptoPunk for about $40,000. That was at the start of this year. Now, as we're heading towards the end of this year, you're seeing these NFTs being sold for millions of dollars. You can still pick some up for hundreds of thousands of dollars, but there's no chance now you're going to pick one up for, for $40,000. This industry is just moving too quickly. Now, before I mentioned OpenSea, but I didn't really tell you what that was. So just quickly, let's have a look at that. OpenSea is an NFT marketplace, but it's not just any NFT marketplace. It's the biggest NFT marketplace in the world, right? And there was a point this year, I think it was a few months ago, where this marketplace was actually the sixth most clicked website in the whole entire world. It was like up there with YouTube and Google and all these things like that, there was just so much attention coming towards NFTs. It was crazy. And, you know, you can go and you can explore all the different NFTs which are trending and, and coming out daily. Oh, are we a bit frozen here? Maybe we're a bit frozen. You can do it. Yeah, there we go. And you can start to see all the amazing and crazy things which people are building. The scale really does go from amazing to crazy. There's there's so many different things people are building and you can see the volume, right? This is just in the last seven days of people buying just different collections, right? 131,000 Ether moving just through the CryptoPunks collection. Board 8 Yacht Club, 4,700 Ether. The, and we, you know, you can keep going down. There, there's just, it's a really hot market. I think that point's been made now. So let's keep going. So now, a common question, how can I make money in this industry, right? Now, 
This question's twofold because there's many different ways that you can make money in this industry because there's many different ways in which this industry is evolving. One of the more common ones which I hear, and I think this is like the most cliched one, right? Everyone's like, oh, I have to launch a collection to make a million dollars. You know, that's it seems to be really popular at the moment. And it has to be a 10,000 10, piece collection and all these things like that. Well, certainly that's one way you can do it. And that's actually the next point that we're gonna discuss, but it might not be the best way to do it, right? This, this, this was kind of one of those things, which is like the people that were first in really reaped the benefits of that. But now you have thousands of people releasing collections with 10,000 items in that collection. Although this industry is big and there's a lot of money, there's not enough money to support everyone, right? And so as this industry is now becoming more and more saturated, we need to find ways to separate ourselves from the crowds in order to actually make money with these NFT collections. But of course, there is other ways. We've already touched on them in the, in the introduction, and we're gonna keep talking about those as we go down. So let's start though with NFT collections. The hard truth is when I was freelancing, I've built a lot of collections for a lot of people. And earlier on, there was a lot more success. And as we go on, there's actually been less and less success. And the reason is, is because there's more people creating the same things, which are not any different from what they've been in the past, right? There's nothing unique. There's nothing, uh, well, there, there is lots of unique and special things happening in the space. I don't want to shoot myself in the foot there. But if you're not creating an NFT collection, which isn't adding value, you're going to find it very hard to succeed when it comes to creating an NFT collection. And that's, and that's kind of the hard truth of it, right? If you want to create an NFT collection now, now that the industry is already established and there's lots of people making NFTs in this space, we have to look for ways to differentiate ourselves, right? You need to add a bit of creativity. You can't just copy paste what already exists. And so to show that, I wanted to show you this quote, uh, from this blog I was reading today, you can see it down here. And basically it says, if you wanna succeed in the current market, you need to be the project that the next five pro 500 projects wanna copy. Don't be one of the 500 copying, right? It's time to spice things up. It's time to do something a little bit different. So in my eyes, if, if this is the way that you wanna go about creating some money, and let me tell you, if you do strike it and you do make some money doing it this way, you can indeed make a lot of money. Um, but if you do wanna go down this path, how can you stand out from the crowd, right? And the answer is, you need to build something different. Now, you know, from my experience freelancing, I've seen that a lot of people just think of NFTs as just pictures, right? And that's, that's just one very small part of what an NFT is. If we were to get deep into it, like NFTs can be so many things. NFTs can be these like living and breathing organisms because we can embed logic into them, right? We can start using things like the blockchain to make your NFTs come to life. You could have NFTs, right? Which become happy or become sad, like happy when the price of Bitcoin goes up and sad when the price of Bitcoin comes down. There's so many creative things beyond just pushing a picture onto a blockchain that you can do. And so these are some of the things that you need to start thinking about if you actually wanna build your own NFT collection, which is gonna succeed in the future of the NFT marketplace, right? And the other thing is around, you know, taking that one step further and building games and experiences around your collection which is really gonna make people wanna use them or make them feel special or different when they are interacting with those things. And so we'll start with a classic example. And you know, back in 2013, uh, 2017, sorry, one of the first games uh, to come out and if we go back to the, to the homepage was this Crypto Kitties collection. Back then, at least this was the first time that I heard of that I could buy these two different NFTs and then I could actually start to like breed them and create new NFTs. You know, this was sort of like the first type of like NFT game, which really caught traction. It caught so much traction that it even sort of clogged up the whole Ethereum network and sent the gas fees through the roof. So this one was a huge success. These days though, lots of people have added breeding to their NFTs 
and it has been less successful because you know it's already been done more than 500 times now i'm sure so then you see new ways in which people are actually uh using their nfts in in different ways right so the sandbox not only has these nfts but they built a whole ecosystem around these nfts so you can play create your own and govern virtual metaverses made by players you can even buy virtual land there's so many different things in, in, in new ways for which people are uh, creating these nfts and and how you actually create these new and innovative ways these are actually the people that get rewarded right So now let's talk about probably the more understated area of uh, making money with NFTs. Everybody's focused on building these NFT collections when they're not seeing another opportunity, which is right in front of their eyes. And that is creating products for NFTs or creating the products around NFTs, right? So one really good example of this is everyone wants to build a, a, a 10,000 NFT collection. And in fact, I've been paid many times to like to build 10,000 NFT collections for people. This is something which is seriously is in demand. So where is the website? Where's the guy who's built the app, which enables people that don't code to build NF, like to build a 10,000 NFT collection. If I have 10,000 pictures, why can't I just drag that into an app and make a, a 10,000 NFT collection without having to hire a coder and stuff like that, right? These are some of the ideas like and if this is this may have already been built, but I haven't seen it. So it ha it's not like super popular yet, even if it has been built. So these are some of the opportunities and ideas of, of things which can be built and other ways you can make money with NFTs. Another example is this that I just found today. No code NFT collection generator, right? Now this isn't for deploying onto the networks. This is actually for creating those 10,000 images. So you can like people are starting to make apps outside of the nft itself uh to make money so this guy's got a really good model where you know he lets you uh create 100 images for free but if you want to create that 10,000 image collection it's going to start costing you money so this is where you can start to use your creativity and innovation to and entrepreneurship to actually think of okay there's this opportunity here there's this market which is growing and expanding how can I capitalize on this? I don't just have to do what everyone else has done. I can do something different. I can use my coding skills with a bit of creativity and a little bit of, little bit of imagination to you know, become successful in this industry because copying everyone else, you know, if, if you're early is gonna be great, but the, you know, all the most famous projects, they were, they were true innovators in their, in their space. All right. So now let's talk about freelancing and a little bit about how it changed my career. I know I've already probably given away half of it as I was talking through, but before this, uh, before I was officially a blockchain freelancer, I, I had my own startup in the, in the, in the AI space. It was building this mobile app. It was this personal trainer in your pocket type of situation. And, but during that time I'd actually discovered blockchain and it was consuming me and it was overtaking me. And so I was learning it on the side. And as I was learning it on the side, what actually happened was um, I, I learned a few skills and I decided to do a few freelance jobs on Upwork. And I did one Upwork job and then I did another Upwork job. And like, as I was actually doing these jobs, as I was actually doing these jobs, what I found was, was that actually, um, what did I find? I found that, um, I was like learning more and more as I was doing it, right? So I would do a job. I, I knew how to deploy NFTs. I started doing some jobs on deploying NFTs. And then people would always ask me new questions. They would challenge me in new ways. And I was learning lots and lots, but I was also making money. And that money was way less risky than deploying your own NFT collection, right? I would actually, um, you know, say, I'm going to do this job. And then if I did the job successfully, I would get the money. Great. So getting paid, learning more and more about blockchain, then here's the crazy thing which happened. A lot of the things which people want in the freelancing space are the same, right? If two people want a 10,000 uh, piece NFT collection, well, when you code it up once, 
a lot, not all of it, but a lot of the code is going to be reusable the second and third time, right? Even the same thing when you're creating an ERC20 token or an initial coin offering, a lot of the people, they want the same things, which means that if your code is good, you can reuse it again and again and again. And then the jobs that you do actually start to speed up and up and up. So I had, I was, I was working a startup, working full time and doing freelancing on the side, but then, um, what actually started to happen was the freelancing over time got easier and easier. And not only did it get easier and easier, but um, it, I started getting paid more and more and more it, it, because um, I would work fast, deliver clean code, and my reputation was building. So this is kind of one of those things which unlike an NFT collection where you, you make money straight away, you invest time into freelancing it's more secured and your success goes up and up over time in an exponential way. And, and this was just like groundbreaking for me. I, 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 I didn't actually plan on ever doing freelancing full time, but the work just sort of kept coming. I wasn't even applying for jobs anymore because after a while you do so many jobs, people just actually ask for you again to do work. And so, um, yeah. For me, I think that freelancing is one of the, the least risky ways to get started. Um, in the beginning, it can be difficult because you don't have a reputation. So your first uh, message that you actually write to people uh, at the beginning means a lot because you don't have a reputation. So what you say is important. And so if you want like a, a template on how to do that, I can send you the one that I was using after this live stream. You can just you know ask me, I'll, I'll send you some of the things which I've said to people, which helped me get jobs even when I didn't have a reputation. And um, yeah, so that's that's something which I really recommend. If we go over to um, Upwork here, you can actually see like tons and tons of jobs available. This is not like a small market. This is a huge market. There's jobs being posted all the time. Um, I'm just going to refresh that. But anyway, this isn't refreshed, but that's why it says posted two hours ago because you get jobs like every few minutes. But um, you know, web developers for NFT startup, Blockchain research, selected advisor, Discord NFT expert, um, graphic designer for cryptocurrency tokens and blockchain developer required for smart contract for NFTs. There is so many jobs happening like every minute. Um, and I think that this is a really good way to get started if you're a beginner, because this is going to enable you to, you know, okay, you'll go and you'll learn something, but then not only will you learn something, you can start getting paid for your skills not long after. Anyway, so that's what I wanted to say on that. Following on from that, um, I wanted to talk about the special announcement alert. And the special announcement alert is that we're releasing a new course. It's called NFT 101. And it's designed to actually help you get those skills to, to actually make money, right? So if you want to make a, an NFT collection, this course is for you. You know, if you want to freelance on Upwork, this course is for you because we're going to teach you those skills, which is going to help you, you know, achieve those things. And I just wanted to see if I can pull up the course curriculum. Give me one second here. Um, course curriculum. Do I have it? Uh, yep, this is it. Okay, I'm going to pull it back in. All right. Um, so you can see some of the things that we're actually going to learn in this course. So <clears throat> first, we're going to go over, you know, intro to NFTs, you're going to learn what an NFT is, the types of NFTs, the history, the architecture of NFTs. If you're not sure, exactly how everything in the NFT space connects, this is where you're going to learn it. You're going to learn everything in this introductory section. Then we're going to go deeper than what anyone else has gone before. And I should know because I was trying to look it up myself is that when you want to build NFTs, everyone's always just showing you how to do it with Open Zeppelin, which is great, fantastic and reliable way to do it. But when you want to learn how things work properly, you need to get under the hood of Open Zeppelin, right? To really understand what's going on. And so you're actually going to create 
uh, an ERC721, which if you don't know, that's actually one of the standards for creating NFTs. You're gonna create an ERC721 from scratch, right? This is deeper than a lot of people go. And, th and this is what we're offering you in this course, a really strong and solid foundation. So after you create your ERC721 from scratch, we're gonna build our first NFT. It's gonna be a Super Mario World collection. Um, I might see if I can pull some images up for you in, in a minute, but we're gonna go and we're gonna build like this Super Mario World collection. There's gonna be Mario and Luigi and Donkey Kong and Yoshi. And then of course, we're gonna teach you some of the industry standards, which is building with Open Zeppelin. These are some of the things you'll be wanting to do for your clients as well, if you wanted to do freelancing. And then we're going to build, we're going to learn how to build ERC 1155 from scratch. These are super important, especially now, right? Because it, gas fees on Ethereum are just surging through the roof. And so if you're doing some freelancing, right? And your client is like, oh, I want to build an NFT collection, but I'm afraid that no one's going to buy my NFTs because the gas fees are so high. Well, guess what? This is for you because... In this course, you'll see when we deploy the traditional NFTs, which is more like your ERC721, those gas prices are three times as high than when we use the ERC1155. So you're actually going to be learning how to solve problems for yourself and for customers by learning how to build these things. And then finally, at the end, we're going to connect everything together because we're going to be creating an NFT visualizer, right? So you're going to see um, you're going to build your own front end with React, uh, connect things with Web3. We're going to talk to the blockchain. We're going to talk to IPFS and you're going to visualize your own NFTs without OpenSea. Of course, all these things that we're building are compatible with OpenSea and the collection will just deploy. You'll be able to sell your things straight away on OpenSea if that's what you're interested in. But here you're going to see how to visualize it on your own. Um, there's also going to be, I think, a, a link to uh, get the course for cheaper. Uh, I'm not sure if you wanted to, to jump in and help me out here, Julian, um, for this point or... Uh, I can't hear you, Julian. Uh, oh, there you are. Yeah. Uh, for the Q&A, yeah, we can be together side by side. Okay. Is there, is there anything else you wanted me to uh, add? Uh, yes, yeah, so very important also. Uh, oh, yeah, we, uh, we forgot to mention the, the coupon um uh, so, yeah. yeah so i might see if i can uh okay so very very important um everybody so, so there, there is, is a coupon, coupon minus, minus uh, um minus, minus 100 dollar uh, uh for the first week so this is until next thursday, thursday. Uh, uh so you, you have 50 percent off, off. And, and i put the, the, coupon the coupon in the chat, chat. Uh, um all right, right. Uh, uh sad speed saying, saying uh, okay so let, let's see what we have in the question, question. Uh, uh any discount for all access yearly subscription uh, uh this is already included in the subscription so you, you don't need to, to buy it extra um all right uh, let's wait for a question here Uh, Echo. Um, uh, um, Uh, Joseph, I, I think I think you need to put your app your earplug because uh, people hear a lot of echo. Uh, DS, um, for, what if you have zero coding experience? What would you recommend to start with your product selection? Uh, in this case, you start with a, a six-figure blockchain developer. Um, uh, one man saying, will you be hosting another Flashland course again? Yeah, but th th this live stream is about NFT. Um, let's stay focused on NFT, guys. Uh, Ajani, how long? So this is, uh, uh, yeah, let's let's stick on uh, on NFT. So th this course on NFT, this is for people who are uh, already, uh, who already know blockchain development. So this is not for total beginner. Um, 
uh where's the coupon oh yeah a very good question uh dmitry uh yeah this is the coupon nft 101 launch uh all right um yingi came uh well I, I put the coupon in the chat yeah, yeah you guys get it All right, and yeah, for the coupon, you can use it for one week. All right, let's see if we have more questions coming. Uh, so we have 150 people connected today. Um, Fanny Mokum, uh, how can we sell the NFT? I find it difficult selling. How can I promote the NFT, my NFT uh, marketplace? Yeah, it's a bit outside the scope of uh, this school, uh, this uh, the course. Um, uh, Dmitry, I'm developing backend Node.js, Web3 for now, but it seems like Solidity pay a lot more on freelance. Yeah, Solidity always pays more, and, uh, and NFT is included in this. Um, Yash Vira, uh, do we need to know React for this course? So maybe Joseph can take that one. Yeah, definitely. First of all, can you guys hear me or, or not? Yeah, 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 yes, we can. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so you will need to know React for the last part of the course. Now it's uh, it's not compulsory. I do I do go through it pretty slowly, but you will you will definitely find it better if you already know React because that's the assumption. The assumption is that you already know, and then we're going to show you how to use React, connect to the blockchain and IPFS to actually visualize your your tooling. So if you already know JavaScript, React isn't a huge step forward anyway. Um, but yeah, I hope that answers your question. Yeah. Okay. So thank you, Joseph. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Uh, how long the coupon is good for? It's for one week. Um, nah, nah, nah. Matrix, any advice on minting my sample uh, as NFT? Uh, check out what's in the course. Um, Patrice197 is only for NFT 101. Uh, so it's only um it's only 97 with the coupon yeah uh unclear on hi sir crypto payment can use a coupon yeah so crypto payment you just send 97 and you have the details for crypto payments are on the sales page um abby are you is it for blockchain developers only as uh, so yeah, your so prerequisite you need to know blockchain development um all right, uh, Dion BD, uh, you only get access to the one-on-one -on -one course after purchase. There's another course comes out. Uh, yeah, so as I said, it's 97 for the first week um, if with the coupon. Uh, but it's only for one week after it's going to be 197. Um, all right, um, uh, then what else? What else we have? What else we have? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Once we created an NFT, can it be deployed to any chain? It can be deployed to any Ethereum block, uh, Ethereum-based blockchain like Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, etc. Uh, Giorgio Moroder. Uh, okay, no, no question here. Um, Tyler, do you feel that we would be qualified to go after work on Upwork after the course? Yeah, of course. Uh, if you uh, target NFT, you, you will be qualified. But just I would like to add one more time that as a prerequisite, you need to know blockchain development before. We will, we will not teach Solidity, smart contract, etc. We have all the courses for that. Um, yes, Vera, wonderful. I know JS will brush up on React for a week. OK, um, great. Matrix bits. I want to allow any buyer to use my sample. Okay, that's the same question as before. Um, Kimberly, when the, will the course be? Okay, this is pre-recorded course, so uh, you can take it whenever you want. Um, Asaya, uh, will there be update to the course when relevant tools uh, become available? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Joseph is um, is working uh, full time for us, so it's basically in the future is going to do. Uh, other courses on NFT, but once in a while we're going to update the, the courses that we already have. So yes, we will have yeah, uh, update. And, um, and just uh, on that note as well, we uh, you know we took care to use all the latest packages in this. So you know you're going to see 
I know a lot of you wanted to see Solidity 0.8. We have Solidity 0.8 in this course. Um, so hopefully they won't go out of date too quickly, but when they do, I'm going to be all over that. Yeah, okay, awesome. Um, uh, then, 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 uh, metric bit, which blockchain should they use? Uh, East Polygon, Bitcoin. So uh, the, the most precious NFT, the most valuable one, they are on Ethereum, but also it's more expensive to mint. So for some community, uh, other blockchain will, will be more uh, suited. So it's really um, up to you. You have to uh, study your target market. Uh, uh, Deep Kehin, do you know if a uh, Web3 library available on, on PHP? Uh, probably, but it's a bit outside of the, the scope. Uh, uh, then, 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 then. Um, Lexicodes in any Discord community? Yes, when you uh, take the course, you get access to the private Discord of Idoblox. Uh, main act, I'm a Solidity smart contract developer. I develop ERC20 token. Is there a scope for me in NFT? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're already blockchain dev, of course, you can uh, get into NFT. Uh, Juan Manuel Luna, you teach us, uh, let me see, let me see. You teach us how we can launch to the moon, some marketing tips. No, this is not a course on marketing. This is really uh, purely on, on the technical stuff. Yingyi, how long is the course? There, uh, there are four hours of video. Um, Jerome Cervel, uh, can we please an example of your video? Have an example of your video on NFT uh, 101, please. Well, I mean, we, you, you already have a ton of examples of our video. I think in total we have something like 500 video on the blog. So, I mean, I, I think that's probably enough to to evaluate us. Also, if, if you want to evaluate Joseph, yeah, you, uh, you you can see some of the pre-recorded video he did. So he did the two video, uh, so you, you you can check check them out. Um, uh, Mega Montana, uh, can you make a personal NFT marketplace and also the NFT on the open uh, see? Okay, so for the the NFT marketplace, this is going to be another course. Uh, it's a little bit more advanced. So for this course, we we just focus on creating uh, a simple NFT. We take it we take it uh, a step by step. Uh, Tyler, how do we ask question to Joseph? Um, so for that, you will ask question in the Discord chat of uh, of the blocks, and um, and Joseph uh, will answer you. Um, uh, then then Jojo Moroder, could you bundle this course with the six figure dev course, please? So you can take the subscription with a monthly subscription at one forty seven, and you have access to everything. Uh, oh, by the way, let me put the the coupon once again. Um, I will fractionalize NFT be tackled uh, in the course. Fractionalize NFT? No, no, it's not in the course. Uh, I think it's a little bit more advanced. Uh, Pradeep, can you explain NTL Leafy project? I don't know this. Um, Matrix is Ethereum the better suited blockchain? Um, uh, I mean, it's where the, the NFT are the most uh, expensive. Uh, okay, you know what? Uh, I think I, I did too many questions. Now it's, it's time to, to Joseph to, uh, to, to t take over. Um, I think the, the, the question is, is Ethereum the better suited blockchain? Really just depends on what you're trying to achieve as well. Because like definitely, you know, we're seeing a lot of the, the bigger things sell on there. But as you were mentioning before, Julian, like the gas fees are so high. And so this is really only for a certain clientele. Like if you're looking to buy an NFT for $50, well, forget about doing it on uh, Ethereum, you know, at this very moment, because the fees alone are going to be basically more than that. Uh, so like the, the gas fees, not, not even the fee for the actual NFT. So if you're looking for something cheaper than uh, like for the cheaper NFTs, Maybe you want to uh, look at something on the Polygon network or even the Solana network. Um, you know, there's a lot of NFTs on those networks too. But, um, you know, as we were saying, if you want to reduce those gas fees as much as possible, then you might want to look at using something like an ERC-1155. Um, so should I try and read some of the questions now, Julian, or are you going to read them out or how do you want to do that? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's true. You don't have access to the... The chat. Okay, uh, uh, let me do it. Uh, okay, so 
Then uh, Yash Vira, does this course also cover how to do uh, generative art? I don't want to say, you might want to take that one, Julia, just in case I, I um, this course does not uh, do anything on generative art, but um, stay tuned for the future, I can say, I guess, uh, because yeah. maybe there's... Who knows? I'm, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> who knows? Uh, maybe um, something's going to come soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, a THX, um, uh, okay, no, this is not a question. Um, Fanny Mokun, your course looks great, thank you. Um, then, um, Khalid, uh, do we have lifetime access to a video on NFT 101? Uh, I believe that uh, if you if you pay for the the course with the coupon that you that you put in the chat, then yeah, you have lifetime access. That's right, Julian, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Every time you buy a course off the blocks, except if you take the subscription, but otherwise, yeah, it's always a uh, yeah uh, for life. There's, there's two tiers, uh, um, so you want to make sure there's the monthly subscription, which then you only have it monthly, and then there's actual purchasing of the course. And if you're doing the actual purchasing of the course, then you have the course for life. Yeah. Uh, then we have uh, Juan Manuel Luna Blanco. Uh, it's only the development part or marketing also? Yeah, so this is just the developing part. I'm, I'm not a marketing part. So usually, you know, in the past when people have hired me for NFT projects, they already had a marketing team and then you ju I just build the NFTs. And so these are the skills that you're going to be learning, the actual building of the NFTs. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, okay, so let's keep going. Uh, Jojo, how many hours does it take to complete this course, watching and practice? Uh, so it's it's just a little over. I think it's about four and a half hours the whole the whole course. Maybe pushing a little bit more towards the five hour mark. So that's that's from end to end. If you don't speed it up or anything like that, I talk a little bit slower than Julian. Uh, so maybe you do want to speed it up. You can play with that if you like. Yeah. Okay. Um, then, Mayor, do you think it matters just from now which blockchain your current NFTs are on? Uh, yes and no. Uh, I think that in the short term, the blockchain that you're on, you know, it, it can affect the the price and the hype around your your NFT. I think in the long term, we're seeing that it's actually becoming more and more fluid. So you're actually seeing NFT bridges, right? You actually, I, I know that right now I can bridge my NFT from the Ethereum network to the Polygon network. And it's the same thing between the Solana network. So I think this is only going to get better over time. And you're going to see this fluidity of like NFTs moving between different networks. So I think in the long term, the answer is actually no. There's just more this short term hype and valuations and things which you might actually be interested in. All right. Uh, then let's keep going. I'm paying with crypto. How can I apply this coupon code? Yeah, I already answer uh, in the chat. You, you just send 97. Um, Mega Montana, will Joseph also be covering yield farming NFT for passive income? Not in this and not in this course. A very interesting idea. Maybe something for the future. I, I can say right now that I don't think it's it's a confirmed topic back for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Juan Manuel Blanco, may I see the content of the course somewhere? Okay, I'll take that one. So you just click on the link that I pin uh, at the top of the chat and then you you scroll down and you'll see the curriculum. And to see the whole curriculum, you, uh, you, you have to click somewhere because it just show you uh, at the beginning by default. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, Jess, uh, 197 is a good deal. Thank you. But this is actually 97 for the first week uh, because there's a discount. Uh, Four finger, I'm thinking of building on Velas. What are the downside of moving from Ethereum? I never heard about this blockchain and I, and I don't think Joseph n know it either. What's the name? Uh, Velas. V-E-L-A-S. No, I don't know this one. 
you know, it's, it's, it's always so frustrating when you, you spend your whole week 100% in crypto, you yeah. do everything to, to, to keep up. And then there are always people, hey, what do you think of project uh, XYZ? Oh, uh, there's, just, there's just so many going on. And like, especially if you're trying to build on all of them, you can't build on all the networks. You know what I mean? There's like, you kind of got to choose your domain. Yeah, yeah, it's very true. Um, then Giorgio, um, uh, well, for help for people in the Western world, it's uh, affordable. Yeah, so with the coupon, it's 97 for the first week. Uh, Harry Milka, Eco is, is back, really, uh, from me or, or Joseph? Um, Jerome, uh, it's a reduction of $100. Uh, $100. Uh, it's cool. Yeah, 50%. Um, Dion, where is the monthly option? Uh, monthly option. Okay, let me let me put this in the chat so you can see all our all our courses. So pro. Dot in the blocks. Uh, dot com. Let me see. HTTPS slash slash. Yeah, if you go to pro.edoblock.com, you'll see the subscription. Um, Epsilon Exodus, what about 11.55? What about 11.55? Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. We've already talked about that, so I thought maybe you'd meant something else. Um, so 11.55, that's one of my favorite EIC standards. It's definitely in the course. It's one of the major sections in the course. You're going to learn about that. You're going to learn about the differences between that and the EIC 721. So, um, yeah, that's there. Feel free to jump into that. You're going to actually go deeper than Open Zeppelin, right? You're going to build this an ER in 1155 from scratch. So I hope you'll enjoy that. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Let's keep going. So uh, any thoughts, Farhan, any thought on the intersection between DeFi and NFT? Yeah. Um, I think uh, playing with DeFi and NFTs can be a really interesting way to uh, add value to your NFTs and to your, your cryptocurrencies or your DeFi projects. Uh, we're seeing people do staking of NFTs where you can actually lock up your NFT and get, um, get some cryptocurrencies in return. But um, there's also some other really interesting things um, like that, that Julian was even playing with in his in his hackathon that he's running in parallel to this, which was about um, right taking these uh, tokens, these Etherblock tokens, and using them for like uh, was it even like a breeding or creating new NFTs with the tokens? So you know, in that way, that's a little bit DeFi-ish. But then, um, yeah, I, I I like to extend that idea and say like, could you do like a like a, you know like a a pets game where you actually feed your pets with these like uh, financial tokens and and that's actually like a form of burning where you can actually send the price of your tokens up. So I think that there's a really interesting space which is going to keep evolving there of, uh, and, and a whole bunch of economics around that, um, which is going to be quite valuable in the future. Yeah, um, very good question. Uh, then Marcin Sola, what are the prerequisites for the course? I already know 3DT and JavaScript good enough. I just want to see the process of creating and pushing the NFT to the marketplace. Uh, sorry, what was that question? So okay, okay so I said it again. Yeah. What are the prerequisite? Yeah, what are prerequisite for the course? I already know CDT and JavaScript good enough. Mm -hmm. I just want to see the specific process of creating and pushing the NFT to the marketplace. I feel like that's two different questions. So the prerequisites for the course um, is basically what did we say? It was Solidity, Ethereum, uh, Solidity, JavaScript, uh, React, and um, what else was there? Uh, but those those were the they were like those basic uh, like HTML, CSS things that you need for uh, the the, pre, the prerequisites. Um, other than that, if you just wanted to watch a like a, a small part of the course, I, I don't think that that's an, an option. Um, do you have a better answer for that question, Julian, or did I nail it? I don't know. Yeah, no, it's fine, no problem. Um, uh, a, a pro application, any promo for? All access yearly subscription, no negative. Uh, Giorgio, um, uh, Felix, uh, Felix Agaraba, 
which of your ether blocks course will enable me to create my own coins on Binance Smart Chain? I would say take a six-figure blockchain developer uh, and um, and after you, you can create smart contract including token. But now we are talking of NFT. Um, okay, uh, let me see, let me scroll down. Um, Giorgio, thanks for the video. Keep up the good work and have a nice day, champs. Yeah, thank you, Giorgio. Gemma Beans, don't you think this would be a great time to do an ETB token airdrop? There was already a big one. Um, like about four months ago, there, there was an airdrop of 10%. So, so at that time, you could have taken some uh, ETB, but now it's available on, on PancakeSwap. Um, Buzan, hey, can you please read comment on your recent OpenSea video? Uh, okay, so this is not uh, a bit out of scope. Um, uh, Bushan, hey, can you please? Uh, okay, again, again. Um, uh, Mert Oselic, okay, this is not on NFT. Uh, uh, Jess, uh, Jess Romo, subscribe, awesome. Uh, when I'm rich, I shout to you, <laughs> awesome. Uh, Mert, if you need a game day for your project, let me know. Cool. Uh, all right, guys, so. Any other question about the NFT course? Um, uh, that wasn't the, the intergalactic trans dimension pizza delivery service. Uh, that, <laughs> that wasn't the question they asked. They were trying to qualify their skill level in terms of the experience and limitation with. Uh, I'm, I, I don't get it, sorry. Um, Leave SMS uh, in the blocks. Can you advise resource to get into blockchain development? Um, yeah, you just go to idoblock.com slash bootcamp and you, you, you'll see a free training. Um, Aiken Harrison, how do I create a 3D game on NFT? Do you have any course? No, it's a bit outside of the scope. Uh, the intergalactic uh, pizza, will you all be covering making channeling calls, VRF and API calls? It's outside of the scope. A van, NFT on Pulse Chain? No. Um, Chimzy Shooter, if I'm to commission you to build... Okay, so we don't, uh, we, 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 we don't do freelance, but if the best is to take uh, one of our courses and so you can learn to do the project yourself and you, you save yourself a lot of money that you would have to pay to a freelancer otherwise. Uh, blockchain developers are very, very expensive. So if you can do it yourself, it's way better. Uh, Epsilon Exodus, what are the downside of using Open Zeppelin versus from scratch? Okay, so I will uh, leave this one to Joseph. Yeah, so I think um, if you're using, no, you, you want to use Open Zeppelin, right? Uh, that's kind of the moral of the story. Open Zeppelin is the industry standard. Uh, the code is battle tested. It should be used. Um, Open Zeppelin is really great. Uh, but what, what we actually do in the course is we actually go deeper than that because most people just stop at Open Zeppelin, which means that they don't actually fully understand what's going on with the NFTs. So what you're actually going to do in this course is you're going to throw Open Zeppelin away. We'll use it again later because it's an important skill to have, and that's how you should build things for your clients or for yourself. But in the beginning, we throw that away and we dive under the hood and we build an ERC 721 and 1155 from scratch so that you know exactly what's inside them and exactly what's going on. It's um, it's just a really good foundational step when you're first learning how to build NFTs. Now, you don't have to do that, but I think that this step is going to be really, really great for making you a really good developer and separating you from the rest of the NFT developers out there. So that's why we added this step. All right, thank you, Joseph. Uh, Jess, how do I get a discount? Uh, I put the coupon in the chat already. Uh, Diego, where can I find good NFT developer job? Should I work as a freelancer? All right, so I'll leave this to Joseph. Yeah, I mean, there's uh, there's also pre plenty of good like uh, websites, like I think cryptojobs.com or something like that. That's the only one I can remember off the top of my head. Uh, so you don't have to be a freelancer. Of course, you can get a job. Uh, but freelancing can be a really flexible way to get started. You know, if you already have a job or you have something going for you, maybe you just want to do one job a week or one job a month, then freelancing might be a really good flexible option for you. Um, it's a really nice place to start and just sort of dip your toes in the industry. And, um, you know, 
the, as I said, the, if you secure a job, that money's, you know, secured unless you don't deliver the job. So it, it's, it's really nice. You'll learn some things along the way. Uh, but it is really up to you. You don't have to freelance, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then, then, then. Emmett, uh, Charles, uh, Jerry Vero, can the front end be done uh, with Python? Uh, I'm the biggest fan of JS. I've been doing everything in Brownie. Uh, okay, so I, I think the question is just can the front end be done in Python? Uh, as far as as far as I'm aware, front ends can't be done in Python. You can do the framework for the front end in Python, but even when you do that, I think the visualization has to be like with HTML and CSS uh, or some other things which kind of wrap that. So I'm going to say no. Well, I'm going to say you kind of can, but not really. Okay. Uh, then Victor Obebo, is it best to build from scratch or take existing code to build on top of? I don't know if you're asking in the context of NFT, but I think this is a very generic question. It's not really possible to answer this. It depends. Uh, Mert Oshelik, why don't you start your project but focus on educational content? But we do start our project because now we uh, we, we have the ETB token and uh, we do a hackathon where we, we build project. So for example, tomorrow, they're going to be the demo day for the, the next uh, ETB hackathon where we, we build an NFT collection. Um, Eken Harrison, how do I apply your course to NFT? Am I yet to subscribe to all? Uh, not sure what you mean, but this specific live stream is about this new course that we are releasing four NFT, so you'll find the link at the top and you'll find the coupon uh, uh, in the chat. Um, uh, Victor, how can we apply ERC1155 with collection of NFTs? Not sure to understand the question here. Yeah, I think, um, I, I, think, I, I, think I got that one. Um, okay. okay. So I think what they're saying is like, how can we build a collection with ERC1155? Because you know, maybe they've seen it done with ERC721 and they're like, well, how do you do it with the ERC1155? So if that's what you're talking about, um, basically it, it it's kind of similar in a lot of ways, uh, and especially really similar if you're using Open Zeppelin because you can just essentially copy paste, you know, some code, do a few modifications, and then it's very similar to the ERC721. When you want to deploy a, a collection with the ERC1155, What's really important is the framework that you actually, how you actually set up your metadata, right? How do you separate your images from your JSON files in a way which scales for say 10,000 10, files? If you do this in a specific way, it's really easy. If you do this in, an, uh, in a more generic, like a, a more straightforward way, which you would think is the way to do it, then it actually gets really difficult when you, when you want to scale up to many NFTs. But um, you actually see in the last section of the course, we show you how to set up your metadata so that your NFTs can actually scale to 10,000 NFTs. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you for that. Um, Epsilon, amazing answer. I'm definitely buying. I'm looking for my credit card right now. Awesome. Uh, Asaya Palacios, it's great to see a course to dig deeper. What's under the hood when building NFTs? Gracias. Um, Ron Miller, how much does an NFT developer earn on average? Great video, guys. All right. So, Joseph? Uh, I think that's a super hard question to answer. Uh, it really depends on like, how big the scale of the project is, right? Um, I think, and it also depends on where you are in your career. If it's your first NFT job, maybe you don't want to charge as much because especially with freelancing, you get to choose the price. But also it depends if you're deploying a single NFT or a 10,000 NFT collection. It also depends if they're doing some sort of pre-sale or whitelisting and if they have a website. Um, you know, like do they want you to, do they have a minting website where you have to put the interactivity of like the actual minting in the UI? That, you, you know, you can start off with something which is quite simple, you know, and could just be like a, a $500 or $1,000 job. But then as you add all these things, it can bloat over, you know, Five, ten thousand dollars easily just for the for the one job. So it, it really does depend because every single job uh, has different specifications and needs. I can't pin it down to an exact number. 
Okay. Um, uh, RZA, will I learn how to write NFT staking from your course? Uh, no, there's no there's no NFT staking in this course. Uh, it's a really interesting topic. Uh, I've done that a couple of times, so maybe that's going to come up in a future course, but it won't be in this uh, foundational course. Okay. Uh, Chimzi Shuta, thanks for answering my questions. I really want to do a full year subscription right now in crypto. Does this coupon offer some discount? No, the discount is uh, only for the course on NFT, but yeah, you can pay the full year subscription with crypto. Amassing, so I don't think you can do front end with Python. React is a golden standard uh, in Web3. I think, I, I think when people say doing the front end in Python, probably they mean to uh, just to output the uh, HTML of the front end from a back end, but then it's a static front end. Uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah, usually people 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 prefer to do with React. Yeah. There's also the like the Django framework, which is a Python framework for making front ends, but then you still need to do mm -hmm. HTML and CSS. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's true. Uh, Rakesh, greetings from India. Uh, my dear, any unique NFT contracts implementation you've seen? Um, no, uh, usually uh, NFT contract they usually they all they have the the same base e either yes 721 or 1155. But what uh, differ is how they implement some function like uh, minting, like if there is any sort of uh, a gameplay. Um, Diego Marquina, what level of Node.js do I need to make uh, uh, DApps spot contract? Okay, so this is not about uh, uh, NFT. Uh, and this is very difficult to, to answer that kind of, of question. Uh, but just generally speaking, I would say, make sure you know the basics of uh, web development before you, you start with a uh, blockchain development. Uh, Goran, when you when you plan to add NFT code to your GitHub, so Joseph, uh, did you push the to, to GitHub for the yeah, course? Yeah, it's all up. Yeah, it's all up. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. By the way, we, we the, the new repo of eat the blocks. Uh, it just called eat the blocks. Um, and because before I was publishing this under my name, there was a giant mono repo. But now we we actually we, actually, we created a, a a GitHub organization called eat the blocks, and all the the new code will be there. Uh, Mega Montana. Julian, I would like for you to do an advanced solidity course. Um, okay, yeah, actually, I, I planned this one year ago, uh, but I got busy, but I, I will probably get back to it sometime in early 2022. Gemma Beans, if I make an NFT with stats like HP, damage, power, that can be changed over time. Is that info saved in solidity or in an IPFS file? I think the question is, is the metadata saved in solidity or in IPFS, uh, Joseph? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the the answer is it can be done in both. Um, most people do it, say, in IPFS or just generally outside the blockchain because it is so much cheaper. The more, um, it's certainly less work to store it on the blockchain because then, you know, when you click a button in your contract, basically you can just update it on chain and it's really easy. But um, you can have it in, in either place. Uh, when you have it off chain, there's a little bit more things to do in terms of updating the metadata and, and, and keeping it all in sync. But yeah, either either one works. Okay. Uh, uh, Jess Romo just bought it. Awesome. I don't know what I'm doing, but my gut says to take a shot. Uh, all right, Jess. So make sure to join the private Discord if you have questions. You just ask us. You're the uh, man, Jess. Yes. Uh, RZA, so web development is a must before learning blockchain dev. Yeah. Uh, what are some things from web dev besides React that one should know? HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Uh, all right. Vishnu, happy. La, well, yeah, is, it, is it some uh, festival somewhere? Yeah, it's yeah. an Indian festival. Oh, yeah. It, might, it, might, right. it well, might not just be Indian, actually. It might be more than that. So I don't want to step on any toes. But I know, uh, yeah. <laughs> I know that they celebrate it. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll do some research. Um, then, 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 Pran B, the, the other guy, Easy and OC, uh, yeah, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah g'day, guys. Yeah, I'm an Aussie. Yeah, I, I, I am from Australia. I'm, I'm currently living in uh, Zurich, Switzerland at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm Australian through and through. Yeah. All right.
right, I think we are reaching the end of the question. Wow, that was a, a big stream. Um, so more than one hour. Uh, so if you guys have any question in the future about the course, you send me a question at julian at idoblocks.com. Uh, um, uh, oh, a live SMS. Uh, is it possible to pay in crypto with this course? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For payment with crypto. Uh, let, me, let me put this in the chat. Uh, yeah, uh, Bosco, uh, who arrived late. Um, all right, guys. So thank you so much for attending today. Thanks to Joseph. That was a great presentation. And we hope to see you all of you in our NFT course so that we can see amazing project from you. Um, all right. Have a good day. Good evening. Good morning. I'm, I'm not sure where you, no matter where you are on the globe. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. See you guys. Nice to meet you. Bye, bye. Mm. All right. And.